Welcome to our episode on starting up a drivetrain in our Movie Suite Engineering Software tutorial series. This video will demonstrate how you can quickly and intuitively start up a drivetrain using Movie Suite. After starting Movie Suite, the new project will be saved with the desired project name. To transfer the data from the connected device to the project, you must first configure the communication. The PC is directly connected to the SEW EuroDrive controller's Ethernet interface for engineering via a network cable. As a result, you will need to select Ethernet under Network Type. Alternatively, an EtherCAT or USB connection are also available. To connect to an access module via a USB connection, you will also need the USM21A interface adapter from SEW EuroDrive. To perform a scan, the scan toggle switch and the Ethernet adapter that is used by the PC must be activated. Every SEW EuroDrive controller has a default IP address of 192.168.10.4. Since the PC is currently connected directly to the SEW EuroDrive controller via a network cable, you will need to set a fixed IP address on the PC, which is 192.168.10.80. Clicking the Apply button applies the configuration. If you select the Startup tab, you can edit all of the available devices. All changes are then made in parallel in the Movie Suite project. If the Planning tab is selected, the changes are only made in the Movie Suite project, i.e., offline. Clicking the Scan button will perform a search for all of the available Ethernet components. First, accept the scan results. Afterwards, you can enter the data from the detected devices in the project. In the network area, you can clearly see that a double access module and a single access module are being used in addition to the controller. Our advice, save the project in regular intervals. Now the right drivetrain of the double access module will be started up. The access module is in a delivery state, meaning that C4 will be displayed on the access module's seven segment display. Since a motor with an electronic nameplate is connected, we recommend using it. The right side displays the electronic nameplate details that are required for configuration. You can use the manual configuration to remove the coupling to the nameplate. Clicking on the Use Electronic Nameplate button accepts the associated data. Accepting the nameplate data disables the corresponding fields for editing. You only need to add missing data. In addition, you can add additional drivetrain components so that you can subsequently configure them. Each component is represented by a numbered image and can be accessed via the Continue buttons. Now we will configure the additional components. In this case, it is the motor encoder for the AK0H. Accepting the nameplate data disables the corresponding fields for editing here as well. Since a synchronous motor is connected, the CFC control mode has automatically been configured. The mass moment of inertia of the SEW EuroDrive motor used is permanently set. Once you have entered all the data for control mode, mass moment of inertia, and controller optimization, you can transfer the drivetrain to the device. In another tutorial, 
we will address the topics of controller optimization and manual mode in detail. Now you can test the drive in manual mode. You should update the inverter data on the controller if you use a MovieC controller from SEW EuroDrive. As a final step, save the project. Thank you very much for your interest in MovieSuite engineering software. Additional tutorials are available online.